do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Tuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. <laughs> yeah, horses are indispensable in this game. Which is kind of neat, if you ask me. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys! Get these over to Pearson. I uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well! <clears throat> Just drop it down in here. What a surprise! find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Ah, he loves <laughs> me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. <laughs> so you got on just fine. <laughs> Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Maybe rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? <coughs> Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one if you dumped on the floor there. Those of you with weak constitutions may want to look away now. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <coughs> it's been a bad few weeks, but Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. Yeah, you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. Want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. 
You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now. It's funny how much of a point man. they make, you, like, make you ahead, of that in this game. At the water tower just before like the every hey, every the instance they Why get. Like, this? oh, John's an idiot. I, I this we dude's dumb. Come on. What do you want from Mad me, Jose? Jose? I just don't want any more folks <laughs> to die, Dutch. We're living, Jose. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob! Good old fashioned train robbery. All right, let's head out! Provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars. Deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private. The hereafter. Home. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough. After Bill blows Doesn't sound the like that dude's keeping his head. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Oh man, I was too worried about like changing the camera. I have no idea what he just said. Oh, this isn't actually cinematic camera. This is just a cutscene. Indistinguishable. Person camera. Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. You'll probably your bark if I short. do this for too long, though. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say. We go back, and that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money, once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up, and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on! 
There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Getting on. Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Don't need you distracting me here, Morgan. Mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Gentlemen, it's time. Yeah, that uh, that detonator okay. didn't look right. You all know what <laughs> Not do. even a little bit. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, called it. It was fine. It's my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
Now is not the time for this. Later, dude. Eggnog. Right in the noggin. Hey, there's the other boy. Shit. I don't have a lot of that. Give me a second. I gotta loot these people. They've easily got 38 cents on them. the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five. opening this door. Four, three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here you go. I 
Unless you got a death wish. I'd step back, fellas. Yeah, see, I don't have to look at that. Alright, come on. Just walk on out here. <laughs> we don't want to kill you. My oh we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just some gonna stand there, brandy. kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Too so late, I just took it. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. On. On. Ooh, pocket watch. Getting there. See? That's how it's done. Shit! Just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. <laughs> Give me those. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah, blah, blah. You got any Twenty five dollars. Really? Oh. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies? A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. No, this looks like something. Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? Mm, yep, that definitely looked like something. Think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> How many portraits of himself does this dude need? Let's hurry this along now! What did you find? These... bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us, okay? See you back at camp. I mean, well, we already you told these back, dudes we weren't gonna kill we'll be them. moving so. on. The rest of you, let's ride! Yeah. Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three of you. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Get a move on. <laughs> 